the amount of money wasted, absolutely wasted, by the European Commission um, is insane. All this money is given and is not uh, accounted accountable. Um, but this money just disappears, and this is it's like smoke and mirrors, you know. Uh, the best form of defence is attack. So what they do, they put their propaganda out and say all the NGOs stole all the money and everything else, and all the NGOs are corrupt and everything else. So hide what they're doing. Um, most of the, the majority of the NGOs that I know generate their own money. It's not given by governments. So when you look at Moria, the small little place, in the actual prison camp itself is quite small. Uh, but outside the prison camp, the prison camp had about 3,000 people. And that area was, is where all the aid agencies are, all the big boys are and all the big guns in this, looking after 3,000 people. Outside the, that area, you had the jungle, uh, which went right around the camp. You know, in last winter, I say there's 20,000 people there. So basically, 17,000 people were being looked after by NGOs. That is medical, clothes, everything. Um, the government had food lines inside the camp, and a lot of the days the food is unedible. Uh, so a lot of the NGOs are supplying food as well. Now, for the for people to say that the NGOs stole everything is total rubbish. You know, all the money that went from the European Union did not go to NGOs; it went to government. It went to the big boys, the big guns, the UNHCR, the Red Cross, like the International Rescue Committee, etc., etc., etc. They took the money. You know? And unbeknown to me at the time, you know, I mean, as I said, when I was a boy, I believed in these aid agencies. But in, and a lot of people don't realise what really goes on. You know, these aid agencies, you know, the, the majority of them don't give clothes. The majority of them don't give food or medical or anything like that. They organise, like the UNHCR, they organise people to do these jobs. Um, you know, there needs to be more accountability of the finances. As far as I can see, it looks like the finances are, are given uh, for abuse. You know, you see all these pushbacks and boats sinking and everything else and all the abuse that's happening in Italy uh, out in the Med. And the money is given not to the people helping, the money is given to the governments abusing. And this is wrong. This is very wrong. You know, people have a right, if they enter a country, they have a right to apply for asylum. There's international laws. Uh, and yet governments of today, uh, not just here, all over, you know, they're abusing international laws uh, and ba basically being encouraged by the European Commission to do so because it's the European Commission that's given them all this money which is unaccountable um, you know and it's, it's in the billions absolute billions can you imagine what this money could do if it went to the right people but what Europe done at 2015 they created this mass massive Mafia right throughout Europe. Uh, and so people were literally abused, all their money was stolen, and everything else. Yeah? Instead of trying to help, they just abused. And this is wrong. You know, a lot of these people are coming out of war zones. I don't care what any government says. Well, I've been in this for six years, and the amount of me people I talk to come out of war zones, the amount of people who have been threatened. You know, you have, the, you have government saying 80% of immigrants coming to take our jobs and everything else. That's bullshit. 80% yeah? are coming out of war zones, whether it be Somalia, whether it be Sudan, whether it be Yemen, uh, Afghanistan, Syria. These are all war zones. And these people are running for their lives. And a lot of them have lost their loved ones. Yeah. So... We need to change the system.